Hello, um, this is Aaron Jones and this is my Pathfinder assignment for computer games programming. Uh, as you can see, I've made a 20 by 20 grid in OpenGL on Visual Studio, consisting of blue squares on the outside for the block tiles and light blue squares for the unvisited tiles in the middle. See that the, the red, red tile there is the starting tile and the blue tile there is the ending tile. Now you can move around this board, notice here, the square with the white outline, using the arrow keys, up, left, down and right. Um, you can also change the start, starting point, the location of the starting point, by pressing S. So if you move the cursor around, wherever that cursor is, and you press S, it moves it to there. Same goes with the end point, by pressing E, both lowercase. Right, so what this does is finds the quickest route from the start point, the red point, to the blue, the end point. But it does this in three different ways. One way, which is the Dijkstra way. The second, the Manhattan way. And the third, the Euclidean way. I'll show you the Dijkstra way first. If, so if you press 1, it'll run it in the Dijkstra method. Press 1. Notice the... Dark red tiles are the closed tiles. The light red tiles are the open tiles where they c could have gone to. And the white tiles are the en route tiles. So that's the route that this method has taken. So if I want to run the Manhattan method now, if I press R to refresh, gets rid of everything on the page except for the block tiles on the outside and the red and blue tiles, the start and end tiles. So if I press 2 for Manhattan, you notice know, it takes a completely different route and it visits less tiles. So notice the white goes down there and down and only has open tiles, it doesn't have any closed tiles. So now if I show you the, the Euclidean way, refresh that, press 3, 3 for the Euclidean way, notice it's a completely different path again. But you can see how this is different, it visits less than half of what the Dijkstra method visited, but a lot more than the Manhattan visited. But see the white showing the route it takes. Right. Also, this program can add more block tiles. If you press B where the cursor is and put some block tiles in, uh, these are tiles which cannot be crossed on no circumstances. It's like the outside tiles. The outside tiles cannot be crossed, so you can't put a point outside the outside tiles. So if I run this in Dijkstra, you notice it goes all the way around the tiles. Before it went down, now it goes across. Uh, if I want to refresh this, th this is one flaw of this program. If I refresh it, it gets rid of all the tiles except for the start and end tiles. So you have to put in the block tiles in again to notice the difference in the different programs. So put them in again, press 2 for Manhattan. It was completely different again. But it's got a few closed tiles here. So it's visited all these tiles and found the best route there. And then now if I show you the Euclidean way. 3. Similar, it's the same direction, but different path again. Also, what this program going to do is you can have higher cost values tiles. See, if you move left, right, up or down, these tiles are worth 10. But if you move diagonally, that tile is worth 14. But if you put press H for a high cost tile, this could be, say, a steep hill where it takes a lot more longer to run up or deep water where you have to swim down in a level. So if I do that, and then if I press two for Manhattan, see what that does. So it goes all the way around there then. Skips all this because it's a lot cheaper to go round rather than through. Notice the tiles, so 10, 20, 30, 40, add 14, 44 and so on. Would be much cheaper than going through there. So basically that's what my program does. Also there's another one. If I block these tiles all the way to the end and then I'll run it, 
notice nothing happens but that's because it can't get through a block tile so if I want to change that like oh no I made a mistake press O on one of these tiles or as much as you want these tiles are open so now if I run this now in Manhattan it goes around these block tiles because it can't get through but these open tiles are just the same as these light blue tiles but because they're red because the set is open rather than unvisited because they have been visited because they were block tiles so that's what you can see my basically my program is a pathfinding program from one point to another where you can involve obstacles and higher cost values say when you're in a level where steep hills or going through water